Hello children, in this video we will do subtotal function of Excel. The subtotal function in Excel allows user to create groups and then perform various other Excel functions such as sum, count, average, product, max, etc. on these groups, right? Thus, the subtotal function in Excel helps in analyzing the data provided. What does it mean? It means we can arrange the data in the form of groups and then we can perform the various functions like sum count and average function on them. Let us do it practically. Okay. Here I have made one table of item. You can see we have items here, keyboard and the amount of these items, right? So I have uh, three categories of item, keyboard, laptop and mouse. So I want to do the subtotal of the amount of these items. So how you will do that? Click on data menu. First, you will have to select the range like this. Then click on data menu and then click on subtotal option. Now, here it will ask you group by by which column you want to group them. So I want to group them by item column right calculate the subtotal for now it is asking which column in which column you want this calculation or subtotal so i want the subtotal for amount column so i have clicked on this and the function that i want to use is some function so this is already selected right okay here in option tab we have different options given here in groups page break between groups if you want to get the page break between different groups you can select this case sensitive pre-sort area according to the group and you can also sort sort your data according to ascend in ascending or descending order right so let us move to this and then click on okay now here you can see i have got the subtotal of the keyboard subtotal of the laptop and subtotal subtotal of the mouse and also we can get the grand total of all the items so this is all about how you can do the subtotal in ms excel or in spreadsheet